Tonight, we're not going to talk about school closings. No way. Tonight, we're not going to talk about that. Tonight, we are going to look to the future and see how we can create and recruit more children and lower tuition and make schools more affordable for every family. This is how Brother Edward Shields fired up the crowd at St. Gabriel's Church in East Elmhurst, Queens last night. Brother Edward, the principal at LaSalle School at St. Gabriel's, organized the event to raise awareness of the need to increase funding and enrollment in Catholic schools. Well, unfortunately, our Catholic schools are really suffering. In the last five years, we've closed 41, and last week we received news that another school is closing this year. At 1965, we had almost six million children in Catholic schools. Today, we have about two million, and we have more Catholic children than ever before. It's time to make a change. It's time to look for ways to fund Catholic educations differently. With a decline in the number of Catholics in the church and a decline in donations over the years, schools which used to be free or low cost back in the 50s and 60s have been forced to raise tuition, making it hard for working families to afford it. Today, our school charges $3,700 a year, which is very, very dear for newly arrived people. So we're trying to find ways to make that tuition lower and to be more inviting to our newly arrived people. By newly arrived people, he means Latino families. Right now, the influx of Latino from many different countries of Latin America is our church. At this point, we're going to be somewhere around 45% Latino in the next couple of years. It's so important to be able to reach out in new ways and in different ways to invite them. One of the biggest problems is the cost of Catholic schools. Hello. Hola. The economy the way it is, people simply cannot afford to pay for tuition. They're having struggling in life just to make ends meet. And some people are unemployed. So they, what happens to the Catholic education? And uh, the people who can afford the poor ones are the ones that really, really need it. If Catholic families donated the price of a Starbucks cappuccino to schools weekly, $4 billion a year could be funneled to save Catholic schools. At the event, Brother Edward rallied the crowd to come up with creative ways to raise funds to make a Catholic education possible for everyone because, as he puts it, any group needs new membership. We know we've lost a couple of generations to the church. Well, if, are we going to lose another generation? And that, that's, you know, we've always said that children are the future. No, the children are the church right now. And we have to make sure that the door is open for them.